Hello and welcome to the Automations tutorial on Localize. Automations let you set up custom actions that happen automatically whenever a translation value for a chosen language is changed via the UI, API, or integrations. For example, if you have two languages, English and French, you can create a rule to monitor English texts. Whenever a change is made, it can automatically use machine translation to populate values for French. To get started with automations, open your localized project and click more automations. Click create to add a new rule. The number of available automation rules depends on your subscription plan. Automations are counted across all team projects and each language pair counts as a separate automation. The number of characters you can translate using machine translation and the number of words to translate using AI are also limited. After clicking create, you'll see the following interface. Monitored language, select a language to monitor. Whenever translations for this language are changed, the chosen actions will be applied to the automated languages. Automated languages, choose one or more project languages to apply automations to. You can also select all project languages. In this case, all newly added languages will also be automated and the number of available automations for your team will be recalculated. Minimal change required, Values range from 0% to 100%. This sets the minimal change in the monitored language required to trigger the automation. Allow cascade triggering. When enabled, the current automation can be triggered by other automations. For example, suppose you've created a rule to monitor English and apply TM to Latvian translations. You also have another rule to monitor Latvian and use machine translation for French. If cascade triggering is allowed for the second rule, the corresponding action will be run whenever Latvian translations are modified by the action from the first rule. Actions specify the action sequence to be applied to the target languages. Note that the next action in the sequence will only be attempted if the previous one fails or is not applicable. To remove an action, click the small cancel icon next to it. The following automation actions are available. Use localize AI. Use localize AI for translation. This action consumes your AI words quota. We'll talk more about it later in this video. Apply translation memory. Use translation memory entries for translation. You need to set a translation memory threshold. If a translation memory entry with the desired threshold isn't found, this action will be skipped. Insert monitored language translation. Copy the monitored translation language value into the automated language's values. Use machine translation. Employ machine translation. Choose a translation provider, Google Translate or DeepL. MT values inserted by automations won't be saved into the translation memory. Pseudo-localize. Apply pseudo-localization to the automated languages. You can also increase translation length by entering a percentage. Change translation status. Modify translation status for the automated languages. Clear translation. Remove translation value by setting it to empty. This action is always executed even if the target translation isn't empty. Actions have the following common options. Force this action. The chosen action will be forcefully applied, even if the target language translation isn't empty. By default, automations are applied only to empty translation values. Clear statuses. Unassign all statuses from the translation value before applying new ones. Mark as reviewed. Mark the translation value as reviewed. This option isn't applicable if your project has the reviewing feature disabled. You can enable it in the general project settings. Mark as unverified. Mark the translation value as unverified. Set custom statuses. This setting is available only if your project has custom translation statuses enabled. You can choose which custom status will be assigned to a translation once the action has been applied. There's also a global option, auto mark as unverified, which can be enabled or disabled in the top panel. When this option is checked, whenever you update base language values, Localize will automatically set other language translation statuses to unverified. This action is performed before automations. Now, what happens if you specify multiple actions for the automation? Suppose we add three different actions. Only one action will be performed. First, the automation will try to apply TM to the chosen languages. If this operation fails, for example, because a translation memory entry can't be found, Localize will try to use machine translation and then finally change the translation status. However, if the first action succeeds, the second and third ones will be ignored. Next, let's see automations in action. 
I'll add a new rule to monitor English and use French as the target. When English translations are updated, French values have to be populated using deep L machine translation. Let's add another rule. Choose French as the monitored language and French, Canada, as the target. Choose Insert Monitored Language Translation as the action, and also enable the Allow Cascade Triggering option. Press Save Changes, or Save and Apply, to run the newly created automations on demand. Let's type Welcome to the application for the English value. Wait for a couple of moments, and check it out. Both French languages were populated with the proper translation values. Let's also discuss some caveats of how automations work with contributor permissions and locked translations. If the contributing within tasks only option is enabled in the project settings, automations will still propagate to the locked languages. Note that only unlocked translations trigger automations. In other words, if a translation is locked because it was included in an order or a task, it won't trigger an automation. Finally, if the contributor is making changes to a monitored language, the automation will be triggered even if this contributor has no permissions for the target language. For example, Suppose you have automation monitoring the English language. Whenever a change is made, machine translation should be used to populate French. Anne is a contributor with read-write access to English, but she has no permission to view or modify French. Still, if Anne modifies English, the automation will trigger, and MT will be used to provide French translations. Initially, automations won't run during the key creation process. To enable them, tick the Run Automations checkbox. Automations also won't run during file import unless you tick the Enable Automations checkbox. Now let's discuss the use Localize AI action in greater detail. The AI can use key descriptions as translation context if the corresponding option is enabled. Moreover, it can use the team style guide that you can upload on the corresponding page. If the project glossary is populated, the AI will use its entries. Remember, this action consumes the AI words quota. If the quota is depleted, the AI automations will be disabled, so we advise optimizing the usage of AI words. To avoid rerunning localized AI on every minor edit of the monitored language, trigger AI automations only when there's a significant change in the source language. Adjust the minimal change required setting to achieve this. If your translation memory is populated, it might make sense to first apply TM with a certain threshold. If the entry can't be found, use localized AI. With this approach, if a 100% match is found within the TM, you won't consume any localized AI words. If you plan to enable automations during the file upload process, tick the Replace Modified Values option. This way, Localize will update only translations and descriptions that differ from the uploaded ones. Now let me show you a couple of tricks to make your automation workflow more robust. Add the Use Machine Translation action as a fallback. This way, even if the AI fails to perform the translation, MT will be used as a fallback. To quickly find translations that were automatically translated by the AI, MT, or fetched from the translation memory, use custom translation statuses. Open project settings and create a few custom translation statuses. Then, take the set custom statuses setting and click on the white circle to choose a status to assign. Assign a specific status for every action. By using this approach, you can easily track translations populated from various sources and manage them as necessary. Now you can go to the project editor and filter your keys by these custom statuses easily. This concludes our tutorial on automations. As always, don't hesitate to contact us if you have any further questions and stay with Localize.